I know lines can change from day to day, but Brendan Perlini was in the, the, the white jersey today and was doing some rushes with McDavid. Uh, you know, he's scored a couple of goals here lately. Or are you, you know, searching for ways to get him out on the ice a little more? Maybe a little bit, yeah. He scored. He has the ability to score. He gets opportunities. He doesn't need a lot of opportunities to score, so trying to find a, find a mix of a line there. So we'll, we'll, we've got a couple of days of practice. We'll have a couple of days to look at it and see where it goes. When he's spoken publicly, he seems very, uh, very thoughtful and very upbeat, uh, you know, and often references... Well, sometimes things went bad in, in, my, in my past and you work through it. What have you noticed about his attitude and his energy? Well, he's got, there's a maturity about him that young players, sometimes they come in, they, you know, it's, every, it's, it's always something else. It's not looking inside themselves. He's done a good job of looking inside and figuring out what he has to do to become a better player. He's worked at it and he's uh, mature enough now to understand that there's certain things he has to do to, to give him a chance, self the chance to play in the league. He's just, he's pretty, he's more methodical about it, less erratic and more methodical about everything he's trying to do and understands that when he gets the opportunity, he's got to try to do something. If he doesn't get the opportunity, sometimes you don't get down, you don't get mad just because you get the, don't get the opportunity, you just got to wait for your chance again. And that happens with players. They get, they get impatient and they get frustrated and really they can't, it's hard to do anything about playing if you're not playing enough or not playing games. He understands his role and he's going to do as best he can every time he gets on the ice. Dave, clearly designed to practice with some battles and some small area battle type stuff. How do you think your group responded today? What did you see from worked them? Hard. Yeah, they worked hard. We went through a bunch of things this morning about where we are and just different parts of our game in the, in the uh, theater there, just talked through a bunch of stuff, and then we went out and had a good battle practice, which was what we needed. I don't know if it was by design by them or not, but McDavid and Nurse started most of those drills right head-to-head. -head. They ended up on the ice <clears throat> a few times from battles. Is that something you notice? Is that something you think is a tone being? Notice you, the leadership group, they had those two, and you had Dreisaitl and Keith going all the time. Like they're the guys that are setting the tone for the drill for the day, and it's... That's not something that I designed. That's something that they designed. That's the way they want it. That's, uh, to me, that's good leadership of them. Where are you at with um, the level of that that your team is bringing to the games? You saw lots of it in practice. Do you think the way out of this is more of that, or are you happy with what you're seeing? from? I think we have to defend better, and that's battling. Sometimes it's just battling a little harder. You know, where goals against has to come down, you can't just put all that on the goalie. You've got to say, okay, the goalie's got to do his job, but the better defense we play in front of him, the better chance he has to do his job, right? So it's, uh, it's all the above. You've got to battle harder. You've got to win more battles to keep the puck out of your net. The criticism that's out there is that your team is maybe easier to play against. What would you respond to that? Do you think that they are, and do you think you, you, there's ways that you can be harder to play against? I think there's ways that we can be harder to play against, right? And that's, it gets down to the guts of the game. Like, defending, there's, you can be in the lane, but then not be in the lane. You want to block a shot? If you want to block a shot, you, you can put a lot of effort into doing that. We're there, but we're not there. And there's parts of our game, and we talked about a lot of them today, that we're there, we have a guy, but we don't have a guy. You know, it's just, there's, there's another element, there's another part of it that has to get done at a higher rate for us to become a harder team to play against. Dave, over here to your left. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, having a meeting before skating today. What was the tone, the messages, and the conversations like leading up to practice today? It's talked a lot about our game and where we're at and what we got to do. Tone was matter of fact. This is... I don't, it's not in there yelling and screaming. We gotta, we're looking for solutions here. Dave, does your team play desperate enough to start the games rather than play your way into the games? Well, I thought we started a little bit slow the other night, and some of that could be out of the 12 day, you know, not playing a long time. Our team's played well in the, like, you look at, you look at our, the first periods were even in goals for and against. We've given up the first goal a lot of times, and that's a concern, but I have no problem with the compete in our game to start the games. We've, we've competed hard. We just have given up too many first goals. So seven minutes to go in the game, last game, you tie the goal game on Darnell's. You didn't take the game over then. Is that disappointing? 
didn't play the last seven minutes, like we're going to win this game no matter what? Uh, I think it was a pretty even game, pretty even game. If you look at it, it's a game. You, you sit and go through that whole game, Jim. Go sit and go right through it. Count how many chances each team had, the better chances. Offense was on. Like we spent eight minutes and 30 seconds in their zone. They spent three minutes and 30 seconds of possession. Ours. Go through the, right, the whole game, Jim. That's a game that was a winnable game. We should have won. We didn't. Okay, your motto earlier in the year was don't lose two in a row. You had two six-game losing streaks, so what happened? We're losing more than two in a row. So it just starts to snowball? Yeah, we're, we're trying to win every game, Jim. I mean, every game. You go into every game, you're trying to win, right? But it hasn't gone our way lately, and we've got to try to fix it. Thank you. Quick on Smith, with out, but what's your goal uh, today it's Koskinen and uh, Kobe. So Smith skated early this morning with uh, with uh, Dustin uh, without using his hand much. So he's trying to stay in shape. Um, but I don't know when he's going to be available. So as of right now, the two guys were on the ice today is, uh, is where we're going. What was your reaction when you got the news on Skinner this morning? Uh, I got a little bit of a heads up last night that there might be an issue with his test, so I had a heads up on it and we just confirmed this morning. So it is what it is. That's the world we're living in. Uh, any word on Nuge, Nugent Hopkins? Uh, skated this morning again and uh, will continue to skate, but there's no definite timeline for his return. It's, it's, it's a good sign he's on the ice, but they haven't said definitively, here's when we're going to try to shoot for.